Okay. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I want to do one take so I can just clip it and ship it for YouTube and, and <clears throat> call it a day. Okay. Chat. One take. As you guys know, last week, Ryan got buffed, right? And it's the base armor of 200 to 250. So you got 50, 50 extra armor slash HP. So he's 550 total. And he also, his, his damage increase went from 75 to 85. Now, a lot of people, they looked at it and they were like, yo, this is like a Giga Ryan buff, right? Now, I don't know what the statistics are. But I wouldn't be surprised if for the first day or two days, uh, play, pick rates went up, but they're probably right back down again. Okay. But this buff is kind of shit in all ways, right? It does too much damage. It builds ult too fast, but it's not <coughs> usable to say the least. Now, as of 12 13 2020 i was watching some contenders last night and meta was like sigma ball right why was it sigma ball right because sigma ball are the number one and the number two strongest tanks in the game right now ball being number one by far and then sigma being the number two right arrested sigma work well together but arrested in my opinion just felt so underpowered ever since all of her nerfs which is fine because like she does everything anyways, so she shouldn't be able to do everything well. She should be able to do everything like, eh, at best, right? But I want to talk about it like really quick because I've been asked a bajillion times, why is it so bad, okay? Think of Overwatch as this way, right? We're playing a game where uh, we're on an open field, right? Let's say open Right, open field. And on this side, we have some snipers, right? We have snipers. We have snipers, right? And then over here, we have uh, what Ryan is, our M's, our melee characters, right? So in this game, right, in this game, they wanted to buff the melee heroes to be able to do the same stuff that uh, the snipers could do, right? So if you could think about it, right? If there was a giant open field, right, of a game, and there was no cover, and you have people with sniper rifles versus people with melee heroes, what would be the problem? It's the range. The range of from here to here is why... The snipers would be better players, right? Or be better, it'd be a better class. So instead of buffing like the ability for you know point A person over here to make it to point B to be able to do the stabby stab, you know, with his melee, you know, his, his like melee weapons, whatever, you know, that thing, right? Instead of buffing the ability to get there, they buffed the amount of damage this does. But the problem was never how much damage it did. The problem was they couldn't make it here. So you never got close enough to kill them. Right? So the reason why Sigma Ball is, is 10 times better than any kind of Rhine comp is because Ball doesn't even have to go near the Rhine. He just rolls through once. Rolls through, moves on his, on his way. And Sigma plays much further back with a shield and does the range poke, right? So you have Discord because Zen is because Zen is outrageously powerful with a 30%. You have Discord orb with a shield break. You have Brig <coughs> with her with all of her stuns. Her, and she can do everything in the game. And then you have the ability to play Tracer. You play Tracer, Ryan Ryan does can't really go after a Tracer. Again, melee. Oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Melee hero. Melee hero. Right? If you, if you can't hit him, it doesn't matter if you... It wouldn't matter 
okay, it would kind of matter, but but like even if it was like a one shot ability, right? Like if you touch someone with it, they died, right? It still would be really difficult to get secure kills because if like in this open field scenario, you would never make it to them. You'd never make it to the snipers. You never make it. So in this scenario, Tracer doesn't have to be touched. Widow doesn't have to be touched. Hanzo doesn't have to be touched. Ash doesn't have to be touched. Uh, or doesn't get touched. Not has to be touched. Just can't get touched. So we buffed the ability to do more damage, but not to get there. And that is the reason why heroes like Ryan are outdated and are going to be shit for a long time. Unless like, I'm going to say something kind of like outrageous. I think even if you give Ryan 2,500 shield, he still wouldn't be great. I think if you give him 2,500, so currently we're at 1,600. If you took this number and took it to literally 2,500, it probably still wouldn't be good. Because the problem was never how much damage it did. It never was. It, it, didn't, it, it was never the problem. The problem was always getting there. And the only way you get there is with Lucio, right? So, so let's so let's that's a different problem on its own, right? Let's talk about the, the the Lucio problem, okay? We have Lucio, okay? This is Lucio, right? Lucio has thirty five percent speed increase, thirty five percent, right? But Lucio has to choose between healing, speeding, and doing anything else, right? Like, if, if your Lucio is like a Reddit Lucio and is in their back line, he's not speeding you, right? So, for Lucio that are, that are aggressive, they're not getting the, the full effects of the speed, right? But then you're like, oh, why don't they just play with the team? Well, you have the 35% speed, which, you know, you get the amp once every, what, 12 seconds? 12 second amp and then the healing is extremely low all the time because the healing is extremely low and because you have to be choosing between the two you end up getting about 90 to 95 percent to ult when the other team gets big ults like grab dragon uh sigma ult um like big combo ults that will kill you right you will not build beat in time because you're trying to do all of these other things at once right so then why why play Lucio? Because you can just play this one over here. A little bit of drool coming out of coming out of her mouth. Just play Brig with the Brig over here, which has stun whip. Which whip is like a little bit of CC and good damage. Shield. Better. Peels. So she has peel. She has better heals. She has stun. She has a good whip shot. And can do all of them at once. All of it can be done at once. When Lucio has to pick either speed, amping heals, or, or speed, and is never getting ult in time. And then we have the big one. We have the big one. Rally. Rally is a team fight winning ultimate 95% of the time. You just pop ult and you're unfucking killable. Because armor is built and designed to keep tanks alive. Because tanks absorb so much damage. But Rally gives armor to heroes that are not supposed to have armor. Like Tracer, Genji, on Oh, I mean, you don't actually see Genji. I'm oh, sorry, I take that back. Zen, Ash, Widow, Hanzo, all these heroes that aren't supposed to have armor have armor. So heroes like Winston, like Winston, I, I don't even know how to draw Winston. I'm just going to put a W up here. Our, little, our boy Winston, right, tries to jump in, right? He can't do shit because Winston's Tesla gun does significantly less damage to armor because the tick rate of Winston's gun is designed to do less damage to armor. So if targets <coughs> have armor, and, th and this was a big problem when, 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 in GOATS, 
Winston would not be able to cut through the armor of heroes, right? He would never be able to cut it down. The cleave would be like a, a, enough to build a primal, but like the armor damage was not there. And, and it's designed to be like that um, because of the damage to tanks, but because supports and D, in DPS that are supposed to be squishy end up getting the, the armor, it's, it just makes them unkillable. So what should technically work is a dive versus a Brig Zen. It won't work because you have the CCs. You have the CCs. You have the heals always up with the whip shot. And you have the unkillable usable ability called Rally. You have the unkillable, unbeatable <coughs> ability called Rally. So what's your choices? Okay. What's your, what's your choices? You have an outdated Rhine. Outdated Rhine, who needs Lucio, who is just a worse version of Brig anyways, right? You have Dive, you have Dive, with like Winston, who can't do damage to the armor, like you really can't, it just, it's not worth it. You would have to go through like three clips, Three clips of Winston without using his melee. To be fair, melee does help knock off armor a little bit faster. But you're you if you're doing if you're playing Winston, you want the cleave anyways. So the the melee takes away from that fact. So Winston armor just loses to rally armor and the stuns. You have the whip shot to keep him away. You have the stun to keep him away. You have so much resources to keep him away. So you just play Brig. Brig. Answer for both of these, really. So what are you left with? You're left with two self self tanks, which are Sigma Ball self sufficient tanks, where Ball just rolls through all the time because he can never die because he's OP. But but literally, if you nerf Ball, we're even in a worse spot because like now we have nothing to play. So you have two self sufficient tanks of Ball, Sig, right? Ball and Sig are both self sufficient <laughs> in a way. Because Sig, if Sig takes 100 damage and he doesn't take damage to his health pool, he doesn't even need to be healed. He just needs to step away for a few seconds and his shield regenerates. He's fine. And Ball can grab every health pack on the map. Or you have two shield. Double shield. Which is which is your Arisa Sigma comp, right? These are your two options, okay? Now, Arisa's in, like, eh, Arisa's in a weird spot where, where double sniper works really well with Arisa. Um, but if, if you're not running the Arisa... Then you you're more open to use like Ash and, and and Tracer right and like burn shields build Bob and, and and pop off right and to be honest I don't even I don't really know the, that much about the DPS meta right now uh, and and high level play like contenders play plus I, I really don't I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend I do I know about what the tank and support comp is right that's what I understand and so I don't think you're ever going to see uh, things really change. Unless one of three things happens. Brig just gets executed. Which ain't going to probably happen. Lucio getting a massive buff. Like he would need to. I think Lucio would need like. Either a massive ult charge. Um, like building buff. So because his, ult his ultimate sucks anyways. What, what ults are better than Lucio ult. Right like on, on support. Zen. Brig. I would argue. and I would argue in some ways Nano. Because if you, if you have one target, let's say you have a Ryan that's in a grav, all you have to do is they're using grav dragon and the dragon starts coming in. You wait till his health bar gets kind of like halfway low. Then you nano him. He gets 300 HP. Then all of a sudden he's getting extra heals. Plus he's taking extra less or he's taking 50% less damage. And all of a sudden he's not that, not that, uh, that, that killable. Or, oh, what, what, what about this? Bap, which can do literally this on a cooldown it's not even an ultimate it's a cooldown bap bap lamp literally works better than beat 95 90 percent of the time works better than beat 95 percent of them 90 95 percent what else who else do you have even left in the pool mercy i mean mercy's never had a defensive ultimate to be honest i would argue valk is better than beat i would argue valk is better than beat um and Cole, Moira. You build Moira ults so fast, you can get two or three more ults before you get beat. To be honest, it's not a better ult. <coughs> it's not better, in my opinion. 
but it is better because you will get more of them. Does that make sense? You can you can be getting it every fight if if you're playing a comp that's based around using the Moira. So where are we at? The whole point of this whole conversation. You're never going to get out of some type of self-sustaining double shield comp unless heroes that can do everything are nerfed to the point of like Orisa. Because Orisa, in my opinion, feels really bad right now. She can still do everything and she can still be really strong, but she doesn't feel good to play and she really, she feels very weak, but she can do everything at once. So like, if you do everything correctly on her, you end up doing really well, but mm, I could even argue that honestly her fire rate could probably be nerfed a tiny bit again. And that might be a little bit better. Then you have heroes like Brig that can do everything at once. Z Lucio can't do everything at once. He has to speed or heal. He can only do one. And if he's going for aggressive boops or going for aggressive plays, then you're losing those you, <coughs> you're losing those abilities. I think Zen Discord Orb at 30% is a little too high. I think it needs to come back down to 25 like it was in GOATS. I think it just shreds tanks like it's fucking crazy. Why else would you be running Zen Brig right now? Zen can kind of work on his own and just a good fragger and Brig is a self-sufficient do everything support hero. I think that's why you have those as your support lineup. Ryan will never be back until he can make it to do damage. He needs to be able to get there, do damage and stay alive somehow. Winston will not be meta again while ball is better. Ball is better. And two with Brig rally existing and, and Brig existing at all. Winston will not come back because the only way you play Winston right now is you play Winston Winston Zarya and you bubble the Winston in so you have the double bubble comp and the double bubble is enough to to keep him from like instantly exploding on the first shot because it'll land the bubble will break hopefully it'll take a cooldown or two if it doesn't the armor at the front of his health will take the, that brunt then his second bubble will help keep him alive long enough to do damage make space come back reset heal up and go in for a second double bubble. But <sighs> Zarya is basically a bubble bot trying to get high energy to do to do to do damage on her own. Again, it's not team blade it's space. It's not it's not like coordination. It's literally you're trying to just say, make sure your Winston doesn't explode and then it's like okay, he didn't explode. We're good. I got energy. Now I can try to walk up and do damage. It's not playing together really. It's it is playing together, but in my mind, it's not really like it's just like it's two separate tanks that are like sort of helping each other for a minute and then they go off and do their own thing until one play and then do their own thing again. It's not like old dive. It's not like old Ryan Zarya. It's 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 not even like <coughs> in a lot of ways like double shield originally like first first round of double shield. It just isn't. So where are we at? I don't think we escape double shield meta until Brig is either Brig is gone, which ain't going to happen. Lucio gets a super buff. Um, or we start to re rework old heroes. Because old heroes, like Winston, like Ryan. Soldier actually was kind of in that category, but the change to him was actually pretty good. and made him a lot more viable. A lot of these original heroes from the game just aren't... Lucio is a good example. Aren't able to keep up. <coughs> aren't able to keep up anymore. Because... There's heroes that are replaced them that can do everything and more. Bap is a great example of a new hero that has AOE heal, has good damage like a soldier, self heal, an ultimate on, on <coughs> basically on cooldown, which was uh, before the nerf, even though it still builds extremely quick and is an IMAX theater is the size of a choke and another ultimate on a cooldown, which is immortality field. You won't. Unless those core parts of the game change, I don't care how much you nut burst buff or nerf other things i don't think things will change i don't think things will change you're only gonna get weaker and weirder tank comps and support comps <coughs> sorry i'm coughing a lot um that are much more built around survivability and working independently instead of working coherently and as a team in the game especially in ranked and even even in even in overwatch league finals you saw a lot of hog hog sigma 
Hawk Sigma is just a weird comp. Like, it worked because they were just two strong tanks at the time, in my opinion. Like, they, they, the, the Sigma ult's really good, like a big combo ult, and Hog was just unfucking killable. And Hog, in a lot of ways, is still really strong. Um, but, like, <laughs> he's, like, very meta dependent, depending on how things go. But it, it, I, I feel like we've kind of gotten past um, coordination in a lot of ways. It's just kind of playing who can do the most on their own and getting good at those heroes and just out mechanically a lot of time. And I feel like that's kind of ruining a lot of people's experience. So I told you guys, I promised I'd give you guys my take on it. And that's that. I'm not doing it again. That's my whole take on it.